This is the Intel NARC 6i5S YH Mini PC. This is the one with the Skylake Core i5 in, and importantly, very importantly, Intel Iris graphics. Not Iris Pro, but Iris graphics, which sits well above um, the HD graphics of the Skylake generation. It's a U-series PC, dual core, going up to 2.9 gigahertz, single core, 2.7 gigahertz, dual core activity. Obviously there's turbo boost in here, which is dependent on heat. And one of the things we looked at in our review was the effects of load on the uh, throttling and whether the th performance would drop after having lots of load applied and after heating up. Take a look at the full review for details on that. What I want to do in this video is just quickly take you around the NUC. I want to open it up and I want to show you the insides and how you can put a new SATA drive in. So here it is, and you're looking at the front here. So we've got a headset port, we've got a couple of USB 3 ports, there's a little indicator lamp there. On the top, the power button. Remember, this isn't a battery powered unit, although it's portable, it's not battery powered. Rumor has it you can actually get replacement lid with battery in it. I'm not sure if that's uh, true because I only see USB 3, sorry, USB 2 headers inside that could possibly pass through. Uh, to any different uh, headers, any different um, case lids that you could possibly buy. But note that it's a fairly mm, fingerprint attractive, shiny lid, but fairly easy to clean. Watch out for scratches because that is plastic. Moving around to the back then, there's plenty of connectivity here and you'll see mini display port, HDMI, so 4K 60 frames a second output here, 4K 30 frames a second output here. Obviously daisy chaining available through the DisplayPort link. Gigabit Ethernet, two USB 3s, power and the fan outputs there. There's the fan input, input on the right side, fan input on the left side too, and a full XD, STXC card slot which runs uh, UHS-3 and goes up to 80 megabytes per second in my test, uh, possibly higher if you've got some higher speed cards. So that's nice and high speed if you're transferring photos and uh, 4K videos, for example, to this. Let's take a look at the bottom then. What I'm gonna do now is take the bottom off and we'll show you in. So I'll try and upgrade it with uh, a 2.5 inch SATA SSD. So let's do this in uh, one take for you. There's just four screws to take off the bottom inside the rubberized feet. Very easy to take apart. And that's the idea of this bare bones PC. It comes without RAM, without disk. I'll show you what I've got installed inside. Let's just make sure we get that all undone properly. Another one, a bit more there. And a bit more here. Right then. Right, be careful, there's a cable. So you just pull that to the side there and you can see inside. So let me just uh, lift that up slightly for you so you can see inside. Two banks of, two sodium banks, DDR4 RAM. We've got two times four gig in here. And there's the M2 80 millimeter uh, SSD, which is actually PCIe enabled. So that's super fast, that's a one gigabyte per second sequential read speed on that. It's a Samsung, it's one of the latest Samsung M2 style SSDs. Now let's just pull these two headers off here. There's a SATA header that goes into the base and there's the, that's going to be the power for that. I'm going to pull that away and then we're going to take a look at the head and this is where the two and a half inch driver is. If you look in there you'll see the connector and all we need to do and what we're going to do is take a two and a half inch SATA drive here and just slot that in. I think it's 9.5 millimeter size and that is pretty much it. Um, you probably want to uh, make sure that um, you put a couple of screws in. There's one position there and one position there, uh, but it is fairly tight. There's a, just a couple of clips that are pushing in and holding things tight there. So all we need to do then is reconnect to the uh, header. Now connect the power header first. That's fairly straightforward. He says. And then that SATA header there. Then that is it. So very, very easy to add a SATA drive there or actually any two and a half inch SATA drive can be SSD, can be spinning. So 
two terabytes should be no problem there, not too expensive, giving you a nice opportunity to install the OS on that fast SSD and then use storage on the SATA drive. So let's now connect uh, everything up to the screen and see if that's working. Mini display port, power, and let's put the keyboard and mouse in as well. Turn that on. You can see the blue light on the front will come on and that should boot up onto the screen. Take a minute or two for that to come up and then I can show you the drive. So there we go. We've got the local disk there, that's our 240 gig Samsung SSD. Let's take a 3D mark here, it's 3 gigs, just going to transfer that over there. And 500, just going down, so there's a cache on the cache on that drive that we just put in. And that was running at uh, an average of about 500 megabytes per second. The Samsung disk can read one gigabyte a second, so um, it was filling up the cache there and then dropping down to around two to three hundred megabytes per second, which was the speed of the local SSD. First of all, we're running Crystal Disk Mark on the internal SATA connected SSD, which is um, my digital discount uh, BP4, I believe, so over 500 megabytes per second, pretty much the maximum for SATA 3 on that uh, interface there. So great scores overall from the BP4 peak transfer speed 516, 4K write speed 65, both very good, 4K read 22. So that is on the SATA 3 connector. Let's test now the internal drive, the C drive, connected to the PCIe. Remember this is a Samsung SSD, PCIe connected and you should see the headline read speed there of around one gigabyte per second. There you go, there's the scores for the internal uh, PCIe connected uh, SSD headline speed, 933 there. It's 96% uh, full, so probably a little bit of uh, fragmentation expect, um, affecting that score. That should be over a gigabyte a second. That's what we saw in our first tests, 2865, fantastic 4K speed. So. The SATA and the PCIe Express combining to give you some really good high-speed interfaces for the best disks that are out there right now. So that was the Intel NUC 6 i5-SYH, €350, Euros, about $350 worth, bare bones, Core i5 Skylake PC with a PCIe Express, sorry, a PCIe interface, a SATA 3 interface and DDR4 memory capability. Nice, compact do it all little mini PC perfectly suited to a dorm room but uh, with that uh, display port out could actually extend into some video editing capabilities as well certainly line PC gaming and office work no problem the Intel NUC 6i5 SYH thanks for watching <music>